Vad? Vad är det? Hi guys, I'm Max, this is Sophie, and uh, welcome back to our van build. This week it's all about seating. We've looked at our design, we've ordered some foam, and it's all gonna come together perfectly, <laughs> without any problems. See how we get on? <laughs> That's never gonna happen. <laughs> it's really windy today, so apologies for all the banging and crashing you can hear in the background. But now we have the wood all cut that we finished off yesterday. I'm gonna look at fixing it all together to build this first drawer. Once we've got it all fixed together, so that's the sides back and front on the base piece, um, we are going to fit it with the draw runners into the seat box. We're using 12mm ply and we're going to use uh, little 20mm, 25mm screws. Screw it together, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to start by attaching the two side pieces up to the base and screwing through into them. And once that U-shaped piece is created, I'm going to put the back on which overlaps by the thickness of the edges either side. So that will go full sides. So that will screw into the ends of the sides as well as into the base. And then we'll put the front piece on, which similarly will screw into the sides as well as the base. So now that we've got our U-shaped section with our two sides and our base attached together, we are now going to fit the back and the front of the drawers, screwing them into base and screwing them into the side. So we're going to start by screwing it at the bottom and um, because the correct width is there, we're going to have to pull these sides out ever so slightly to where they match up. Because currently if I put it up, it all lines up at the base, as you can see uh, there, but there's ever so slightly a bit either side where the top edge is leaning in towards the center of the box so we'll screw along the bottom and then we'll pull these out to where we want them and screw into the sides as well and next we go repeat that exact same process that we did to install the back to install the front piece and then we'll have our finished drawer. And there we have that front side attached in the same way as the back end is. Now we need to look at drawer runners and fitting it. And just for scale, there is a Sophie stood next to it. It's so big! <laughs> well done. What are you going to put in it? All the things. Literally everything I can get my hand on. Happy? Very happy. Get in the box. <laughs> I want to get in the box, you get in the box. I've just done a really quick test fit of the uh, drawer inside the box and it fits beautifully. So we're going to remove it, attach the drawer runners into the seat box and then look at fitting the drawer onto the runners and get it all working properly. <laughs> Now that we've built this uh, drawer and dry fitted it and checked it looks like it's going to work, we need to build a drawer for the second box that Sophie has painted, um, just in its first coat of undercoat. They should be the same size, but we're going to um, grab it, bring it over and double check before we build the box. <laughs> so although I just said I hoped it was going to be the same size for this next seat, it actually isn't, because at the back here is where our heater ducting comes up um, so we're gonna have an outlet on the face there. So we need to kind of cut a corner out of the drawer to accommodate that. All of the other dimensions are pretty much the same. We just need to take that top corner out. So I'm just gonna measure up the duct the inside the van to see how much of a corner we need to allow. We finally got these dimensions down. You can see over here, we've got a bit of a mock-up of where our ducting is gonna run. Maybe oh, beef, I did pull it off. So it kind of runs in the back corner like this. We've got these nice flat um, outlets so that we don't kick them all the time while we're sat here, but that has to come out of our drawer space. So the little notch has been measured out. We need to start cutting the wood.
So that's our fronting piece put on here. And um, we just use little little nails to go in, a little tapper just to make sure they're sunk so that we can fill and then paint them over again. We just want those little things to look like finished. And we think that's what's gonna help make it look not so handmade. Isn't that right, Rick? <laughs> he likes handmade. So we've lent all these pieces up to uh, check they all fit. The next job is to screw it all together. The last piece. It's always the last piece, isn't it? This one wasn't the right size, so we've had to cut another one. What you got? What did you build? Well, I didn't build anything, you built it. You helped build. We big ass drawer with a cool little hole in for our booking. High five. <laughs> So now that we have this next drawer made, we are going to fit the drawer runners and see how beautifully smooth we can get them sliding in and out of the box. What do you reckon? Smooth. Smooth. Drawer two, drawer runners are going in. Are they going in smoothly? Uh, so far. Smoothness is key. So. We've never done drawers before. Is this, is this right? <laughs> Are we doing it right? Ooh, baby. It's smooth. <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I had faith. But he didn't, he didn't have any faith. <laughs> New skill! Drawers in it. In it. So that is our second drawer, working beautifully. We're really happy with that. They're nice and solid and strong. It's a shame we've lost some storage space, but I think it's a fair compromise, mm -hmm. don't you? It's a massive drawer still. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty huge. This is massive, look away. It's like, oh, don't trip over. 50 centimetres by 60 centimetres. You could sleep in that. <laughs> you could. Um, so we now have to call it a day, actually. It's time to go home and have dinner. But tomorrow we're going to look at fitting them in the van, look at our table, and hopefully our phone might arrive. Might have arrived today. Who knows? It's a new day! And we are back, and we are ready to put our seat boxes with their beautiful drawers into yeah. our van. Gorgeous drawers, smooth drawers. The smoothest of drawers. <laughs> and then what do we need to do once they're in? Screw them into the floor. Yes. They're going to be in solid forever and ever. And then once they're in? And then we need to make the table yes. bit that goes in the middle. And... What's arrived? <gasps> the foam has arrived. It's in the car, staying clean. <laughs> Max just... has this obsession with it like not going down anywhere because it's clean. Don't want it to be dirty. It's in the car. So as soon as we have built that and it's in the van and the table's built, we'll bring the foam in and throw it in place and see how it looks. You excited? Excitement. Then you better get sewing, girl. Get your sew on. Can you get your sew on? No, I'm doing the electrics while you sew. <laughs> right, if you could just lift that and throw it in the van, that'd be great, yeah? No, cool, can't. cheers, it's bye. Way too heavy. Bye. Come on, guns. No, <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to get it back into position here, sort of at the edge of the counter before our little pantry drawer. And then we need to screw it back into these sort of struts and at the bottom and then down into the van floor. And then I guess we'll refit the drawers in here and it'll all be working. Be good. So before we uh, screw it down into place, we've just dropped the drawer back in, just so we can double check. And if Sophie demonstrates the drawer, 
I'll show you this duct at the back that allows us space to have this somewhere on the face of this uh, seat box. Look good? Looks good. Got a halo. Basically lined up completely flush with the edge here. We had a bit of a change of idea we're, before we screw it into the floor we're just trying to line them up properly check we can square them off to each other before we put that one at an angle where this one actually has to be like half outside the van <laughs> so you know sticky two steps ahead for a change we are now going to be attaching this one into the floor because we've got it pretty level with this one max is going to do that now So this is now screwed in and for some bizarre reason we've got a gap here and here. It wasn't a gap before we took it out and now there is. This sort of thing happens all the time in van building. So we're going to just run up a little shim and uh, we'll get it all finished off. So we have had to put a couple of little shims. No, front and back. Apparently Sophie's already explained that but it's all screwed in now, nice and tight. Bitch. Bless you. Thank you. Now we're gonna what? Now we're gonna put this one in. So we've had a bit of a nightmare. We got it all wrong. So we've had to pull all this up. <laughs> it's all to do with the handles on the doors which we'd previously figured out was fine, but now we realize we'd pushed the chairs too far back towards the door. So it's, it's uh, uh, annoyance. We've calmed down a bit now, haven't we? Definitely. And uh, we've just, we realized we just forgot to move it all three centimeters this way. That we just we just got it wrong. It's fine now. Here we go. Look, drawers are going in. Panic is over. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely what, beautiful. Going to be close. I guess there's not gonna be a cupboard there. That's gonna have three mil on it and that's gonna have twenty yes. mil on the front. Yeah, it will be fine there. Bang in. Will we be fine on that one? Not so sure about this one. No, I don't think we will. Because that's going to come out 20 mil. Yeah. And that's going to come out 20 mil. Oh, yeah, because it's got its face we on. We might end up turning this into a slightly smaller square of box. Maybe. Oh, well. I don't think that'll fix the problem, actually. Summary of the day Pants. <laughs> but. But we figured it out. We're just in the exact same place we were at the beginning of the day. Can we smash it tomorrow? Yes, we can now. Boom. Let's go for dinner. We just had a really good thought, and by we, I mean Sophie. What's my thought? Before we smash this seat in, what do we need to do? Insulate the door? Yeah. Oh yeah, we need to insulate the door. Otherwise, we won't be able to get to it. <laughs> and we need to put the door card on as well. Yes, we do. So we're gonna do that really quickly, <laughs> and then we'll go get back to the seats. Yes, we are. <laughs> First thing we need to do is tidy up so I can actually get to the door to do the insulation. So we're going to use these off cuts of insulation. It's just a normal Celotex. We've got some thick stuff and some thinner stuff. And I'm going to make a weird little jigsaw, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> Pack it in there. So yesterday we uh, luckily remembered that we needed to put the door hardware on before we worked out the final location of the seat boxes, otherwise the door wouldn't shut. So we've put it on for a bit of a test and got it all worked out and marked out on the floor. We'd forgotten to add an extra three centimetres on. It was bad and stressful. But we look back to our out. notebook notes from like six months ago and we now have it where it was meant to be all along. <laughs> so Sophie's taking the hardware back off so she can get the uh, door insulated. I'm just trying to make some space for her. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things that you 
you start the van build and there's, there's like space and you're fine and then as things go in it gets much more difficult to like work two of you in a space or it can get quite frustrating can't it like working in but we're going to live in this tiny space with each other forever yeah well, i think living's living's different living's different to like trying to weld a drill and stuff like i don't know i need elbow space man. <laughs> So here's it finished. It's a little bit messy. Definitely not as messy as the other one though. <laughs> the other one was wrecked. But nicely done. Let's get the door card on. Anything else we need in there? I think so. So this is our door card. This is the back of it. Drill. Drill is in here. We're gonna fit it to this door and then put all the door gubbins on. And then we can actually fit these chairs into the van. We now have our door cards on and our door gubbins. I don't know what the word is. Hardware. And the door hardware is on. And it doesn't hit the chairs. Brilliant. So what are we doing next? Uh, next we need to actually screw this stuff into the van. Because we had to move them three centimetres this way, we've now got these horrible extra holes. Uh, so if anyone's got any top tips of hiding huge screw holes, we would be most grateful. So now that's attached into the van, you can see kind of how this is going to look with our countertop. It will bring you right up to the edge here. But if you look around this way, the overhang is much larger because the drawers will sit further back in here it kind of creates a step in here when we come into this area because it's more open so works for us to be fair it's measuring the same good chair two is going in it has been measured a million times can't be too sure <laughs> not with us on our track record anyway Oi. i'll have less than that Biggest screws ever. Wow. Look at that bad boy. It's huge. Big we, screws. We all have a big screw. <laughs> 90 degree angled bit. Sent it, mate. That's good. How does it feel? With this bit of old foam we've got really comfy. Let's get this table made and then the proper foam on and we can sit on it properly. Yay! We're now measuring up for the piece of ply that's going to sit here and that's going to make the second part of our table. <laughs> Moment of truth. Yes. Wow. I'll do. Cool. This is the Sophie's big ass test. It passed! <laughs> Feet off the ground. Oh. Jump up and down. I think it's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Creak. <laughs> Shut up. I'm really impressed with these seat box... Sick boxes. I'm really impressed with these seat box... I just spat all over the camera. I'm really impressed with these seat boxes that we now have secured into the van because they're sitting in it really nicely. Um, Sophie's just gone to get the foam out of the car because it's arrived and she's really excited about getting that in here and uh, getting it set up and see how it looks. So here's my very rough piece of work which is this sheet of 18mm ply 
that's going to sit in there and then the tabletop the tabletop's not yet cut down to size and the ply is kind of a bit rough as well so just imagine here what it's going to look like let's go see how sophie's getting on what have you got Foam. <laughs> can you see Keep coming. Mind the van. Where are you? Where have you gone? I'm here. Oh. It's big. It's big. What's that? Just a temporary table and base. Ooh. It's sturdy enough though. Yeah, and once we've figured out sort of like a hooky thing, mm -hmm. hold it up, it'll be good. Oh, let's get the foam on! What? You're just admiring the foam. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, I don't know, it's hard because we spent so long trying to figure out what it is we wanted and stuff and this is firm and it is really quite firm it's not as cozy as maybe i thought it would be in our heads but it's much bigger than i i kind of anticipated like it feels like a full-on sofa so that's really really good and this medium stuff we've got is squishier so you know you can get comfortable on that and i've bought a load of cushions anyway so this is it in like sofa, sofa mode? mode this is sofa mode but we can extend the sofa with our little flap down bits as well. So we can make it sort of longer, more laid back. Should we do that and give it a go? Yes, because that'll we we bought the foam high so that you could drop it down. Um so then it it'll meet the back. So let's do that now. That was harder than anticipated because we've um, not covered them yet the foam is like gripping to each other so it's not sliding and we also ordered the foam slightly oversized so that we could like carve in sort of a rounder shape and, and, and trim down the edges and add wadding so we need to figure out the sizes a bit better but this is this is good this is comfortable I've got the extra additional room the overlap is good and for Max's lanky legs it'll definitely give him some extra extra relaxing space so happy with that so next test is going to be bed so sides and backs have to sort of disappear and then we will see if it's comfortable as a bed you're just chilling on the job now yeah and now this is here this will be an issue it's very comfortable though the uh, like the firm foam is good i've got a real good amount of space as well so it's good like fully stretch out well, I can't touch the end, and my head's still not touching. That's just my hair. <laughs> that make a good spare bed then? Yes, definitely. So the last one we need to do is our normal seating area. So we need the backs back in, and we need to get rid of this middle section. And this is our seating setup. So we'll have our nice table here. Where we can both work and eat and generally chill out in this area. Um, we have just mocked up a cardboard table mount um, and put it on our table mount. <laughs> we've mocked up a <laughs> what? A, 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 a? a cardboard table top and we've put it on our table mount just so we can work out where we want it. And why are we doing that? Before we make it out of wood because cardboard's cheaper than wood. No, we're doing it because we think our table's too big. And we think our table's too big. And, so, it's, and it's cheaper to do out. <laughs> we need to sort of figure out where, just give it a wiggle, Max. Where is actually possible, because we're going to hit the sink, we're going to hit ourselves. <laughs> um, and actually the person who sits in this chair won't be able to get in. So we need to figure it out. So this is definitely too big, which is kind of a bummer because <laughs> it's made to fit in here. 
What are we going to do? So we're now going to make up another cardboard tabletop that is slightly smaller. And then maybe think about fitting like an extra piece of ply. Oh dear. We're now debating putting it on the other side of that seating box. Purely because we're now hitting the point where we're like, why didn't we just buy a leg that went in the middle if we can't get the table to do sort of more exciting things than that. Hmm. So we're definitely not using it to its full advantage, but we think with the lagoon table mount, if we have it mounted on this kind of closest to the van corner, that gives us both really easy ways to slide into the seats. We can also have a bit of flexibility to move it around and spin it just about if we need to. And we were just thinking if we were setting the table with like dinner and drinks and all that kind of stuff and then one of us had to slide the table all the way out the way for the other one to get in if the leg was in that corner we'll end up spilling everything everywhere which will probably happen so although we can't like yeah use every single feature we still have the ability to move it where we need to and also raise it up and down which we think is really useful so i think we're going to go with this method we just need to uh get the table and the plywood base the right size and then we fix it all together. But I think that's going to be a tomorrow job now. This is exciting. <laughs> so we are going to have to leave it there for this week. Uh, we think we've done pretty well. We've got our ideas down, we've tweaked our design and I can finally get to sewing. We wanted to say a massive thank you because this week we hit 2000 subscribers, which is like unheard of we didn't think that would ever ever happen so thank you so much to all of you who are following along um and if that's not you why don't you join the party below we're a really nice bunch we promise and i guess we'll see you next week bye bye oh yeah we need to fill these holes remember somebody tell me how to fill those holes please <laughs>